Oh, do I love this stuff. And now I know what I can do with it. Oh, a garden tour. I'll talk about it later in the garden tour. Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California and we're not having a garden tour this, well, not September 1st. It is September 1st. Oh my, I have to get this in. Remember that little squash plant a month ago? We weren't even sure if it was gonna live. It looked like this one I just stuck in here. Well, there it is. I should pick it with you. You know what, I don't know if I can, but I wanna do a zip is all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick it. Oh, yep, yeah, we did it good. All right, so I just picked it. I'm gonna sit it over as we walk and I'm gonna make that later. There's tomato plants. I'm gonna get another squash or something in there. Everything in the front is doing really good. I'm really happy in the back. I'm starting to put walking onions. Let's zip around here real quick. We've got a tree full of ravens. Look at that. They're even chasing the turkey vulture. That's a turkey vulture and they chase everything around the ravens. Okay, so let's do a zip and let me explain to you what's going on and why I'm not doing a full garden tour. Number one, it's the heat. Let me put this here and come back and get it. Isn't that beautiful? It's a cocoa zell, it looks like. Probably a seed that came out of my compost. You get the best plants out of your compost piles. And you know, as you put them in your totes and they grow, those are happy plants. The thing is, it has been really, really hot. We have been 100 plus and we're going to get hotter and hotter. So as you can see, we're still in the shade. The sun hasn't come here, it's morning and it's already hot. So we're going to just do a zip. Everything is doing fantastic. I have no complaints, even with the heat. The ginger and turmeric and stevia, they are going to get sun for a few hours until probably about one o'clock and then that's it. They'll only have a little bit of sun and they are getting a little bit scorched as you can see, but this will be fine. And you know what you can do with that? You can take a scissors if I want, either take the whole leaf or trim off all the brown. I'm not gonna do anything until the heat wave is over. And unfortunately, it won't be over until next week. Let's do a quick walk in through the bird garden because this is literally what this is gonna be today is a walk. You know, that came up and has not produced any fruit yet. So I'm probably gonna compost it, but we'll see. I mean, no hurry, no hurry. It's such a big plant. All the flowers have been males, but, and the plant kind of looks real thin, the leaves. So it's a hybrid of some sort, because it came up in the compost, but I've got better stuff I'm gonna put in there. Dragon fruit has been just starting to set some of them. Oh, look at this, more flowers forming. We've had so many flowers. See, there's a dragon fruit back there and more flowers. <gasps> We're gonna have tons of them. Now, a lot of them didn't take because the bees over pollinated. The bees have found the dragon fruit and they come in and they've been removing all the pollen. So Gary's starting something else. He's pollinating and trying to keep the bees out. You would think the bees are doing good, but it kind of looked like it worked the opposite and that's not a native pollinator for the dragon fruit. Not what we wanted it to do. Everything looks good considering the heat. I have no complaints. Been keeping all the water fountains full right now. There's no sun over there, so they're not pumping yet, but they will. It's just been hot. And like I said, I want my main concern right now is the wildlife and the plants. So I try to water if needed twice, but so far I've been lucky in just watering once, either very early in the morning or in the evening as soon as the sun starts to go down. So this is the bird garden. Got my lemon balm. Really doesn't like that much sun. I should give it a little bit of shade. But all in all, I'm really, really happy with everything. I think you saw that two weeks ago. I painted it, cleaned it up, and isn't that beautiful? Well, the birds are taking off around me. I'll be doing a lot of trimming in here when the weather changes. This is all brassicas that are growing wild everywhere. Now the thing with the brassicas is they do better in the fall when the weather cools. Now we do have hot weather. September being hot is not unusual. If you go back and look at my videos from the year two, three years ago, you'll see we're going through massive heat waves in September. We're not as hot in the summer. We're hotter in the early fall. But these plants will just take off as soon as we start to get 
cooler weather. So that's when I'll trim a lot of them down and I'm going to do a ton of cuttings. And I'm changing something that I used to do. Let's just keep walking because I really want to see if we can just do a walkthrough. Literally a walkthrough. This is doing okay. We still have papayas. These are doing fine. But I'm trying to keep water up to it because a lot of trees are not doing well. See across the hill? That's too early for that tree to start turning brown. And I lost the fig tree here. All the leaves fell due to the drought. You just can't get that deep watering. So Gary dug a hole. It's over by the fountains. All, maybe we can look real quick. All, see, you can see it from here. All the leaves fell off. And what he did was he dug a hole and started filling the hole up every day with water and it's helped. So it's starting to make a comeback. So hopefully I won't lose my big fig tree. Okay, let's go through the gates. I haven't even been out in the yard yet. Been doing other things, hummingbirds, trying to save butterfly caterpillars. It's been a crazy morning for me because I've got caterpillars now on the deck and I just found them. Really weird how I found them too. I smelled them and I thought, oh, I smell caterpillars. I'm gonna see if I can save some of them. Isn't that something? This is nothing. We had like a hundred ravens two days ago and boy, do they get loud. Here I'm just keeping everything watered and not worrying about anything. And then the potato mint's doing good. Still, this potato mint loves the heat. This is doing really good. This is Roselle Red or Red Roselle. This is the peppers, those hot peppers. Oh, I can't even pronounce them right. This is the one I got at the grocery store. It's doing really, really good. I'm really happy. This is just a cutting. I was somewhere and I saw the plant and I pinched off a teeny piece. Look how beautiful. Remember when you're doing cuttings and you're propagating by that way, I have found it works really good when you just sit them in a pot, when you're composting in place in a tote, and they're picking up microbes and something, and it really makes them grow. This fig tree is doing okay, but I soak it. And then everything here is doing all right. The tomato plant that the deer chew on. I'm just starting to get some um, cucumbers in here. Here is my pitcher. I love the pitcher. That has been the greatest help. I'm going to actually pinch this off right now. What is this? It looks like it wants to grow. Um, I don't want anything growing in there. What I do is there's a little bok choy back there. I just keep stuffing it. And if I need some really good rich soil, if I'm doing something later, oh, there's, there's a little squash on here. Look at that. Then I can just lift that up, dump it into some place. That's the richest soil. And then I can start over. There's a little tiny watermelon in here. I don't know if I'm gonna leave that squash. This is a cutting I did. See, that's out of my bird garden. I have the purple one in the bird garden and I stuck it in a bucket here. I just wanna make sure nothing gets to it. And it's done really well. I've got peppers there. This is my pepino. It's the same, you've seen all this. Tomato's doing real good. Now I've still got three watermelon on here. We've picked the two on there and I'm gonna trim the plant back. I don't see offhand any new watermelon. I'm gonna probably do that today, trim it back and see if it will make a comeback with this heat. Watermelon loves the heat. It's unbelievable how much it loves the heat. You'll see these leaves standing up in 100, 115 degrees, just standing there, just suck, soaking in the sun. And then you'll see the squash drooping. In fact, sometimes they look like they're not gonna make it. And then in the end of the day, they pop back up. Oh, 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 this is a sunflower seed. I pulled it out of a tote. And then these, I think are little zinnias, but I'm also planting it. No, I know what that is. Those are sunflower seeds. Cause I'm gonna give it to a friend who loves sunflowers if they grow. And I'll have to make sure that's in the shade cause I planted some more zinnias in the purple pot. Okay, so that's what's going on here. I've got more seeds I need to get planted. I love starting stuff in here. A, a nice light colored tote in the shade. All winter, fall, summer, spring, you can start everything. Let's walk this way. I'm not gonna walk all the way down. And you know what, real quick on the table, this is changing. I'll tell you, I really should do a video on good and bad stuff. This is no good, this, this is gonna change too. This is, worms get on there and no birds come here to eat the worms, so I have to find them. Not a problem, these will come back, but what I'm done with is milk cartons because milk cartons break down before the plant really roots good. I'm not gonna bother with that. You can, but I'm gonna change it up where nothing's gonna get to it and everything's gonna grow and it's gonna be dirt cheap. So we'll get into that later. 
like I said, nothing new down there. I do have some squash down there and tomato plants, but that's it. The eggplant, that is one eggplant in there. As you, It looks like there's two, but there is not. And I picked some yesterday. This droops in the sunlight too. And I should trim off every yellow leaf. And you gotta do it with gloves because there's stickers in there. But that's one eggplant doing fantastic. Now the squash is taken off with the heat. Isn't that something? Look at that. Look how big these leaves are. And we're gonna have to get more into the irrigation tubing because I've been doing so many things hard when I found out there's so many things we could all do even easier than things I've showed you and things I've done. We're gonna have a blast this spring, but look at this. Look at the little bees here. See this? Painter's tape. See this? Clothes pen. I have so many things like that. See that? It's hooked up. Now nothing bothers it. All the squash is taking off. Look at the leaves on this. They're massive. They're like elephant ears and they're growing squash. I've been picking them. So let's keep walking. That is, well, that was a watermelon plant from March and it's kind of fizzled out. I'm going to trim that back or I might just let the squash grow. Look at my corn. And on the bottom, I put some cucumbers. So we'll see how well they do. But look at my corn. Isn't that something? If any of you've got that iffy f soil, you know, some of the soil that's been contaminated and it won't grow vegetable plants, let me tell you something, you can grow corn. We'll get more into that too another time. All this I have to redo and put, oh, look at this. Oh, I think I'm gonna grow more corn. So I'm gonna redo it and put corn in. So what I, I get ahead of myself sometime. That's a, a watermelon plant I trim back. We'll see how that goes. This is another one. See that watermelon split. This is from March. So I'm probably gonna take this whole thing out and put some cucumbers in here because this is really what I wanna grow. I absolutely love this cucumber. This has been the greatest cucumber. It tastes good. So Gary told me to leave it. And I think I'm gonna get that one off today. It's already turning yellow. What I want is the seeds. I wanna gather up seeds from a plant that grew here. So it should grow better. It's the only cucumber growing on the property up here. So hopefully it pollinated with itself. So I will get that because right now I'm not getting cucumbers because of that one. It's stopping the plant. So I'm gonna get that one off today or tomorrow. I like picking fruit when it's this hot early. Another watermelon that didn't do good. Again, planted too early in March, but these are the cardboard boxes. I'm going to leave these until next spring, probably. I'm not going to bother with them. I'm only going to move the peppers right now and build up the soil for the tomato plants and other things. This is the old box garden, and that's the totes it's going to be in. That is going to be a new tote garden. I love my totes. Full control. See, everything's starting to droop and see this this is okay and then later on when the sun goes down it pops back up so i'm really really happy with everything let's walk over here i just need to get things done before it gets super hot the meadow has just been full of life coyotes come deer come we even had an owl i mean everything comes at night to come drink out of the ponds and I can't wait to have more time to fix all this up. I still have tomatoes down here, only because I covered them from the deer, see? Isn't that cool? So this is doing really good. And I freshen up the water every single night. The truck bed is gonna droop more and more. This is my power unit. The fan is on, because this is hot. So I do wanna get this out right away. I'll stick it here and I'm bringing it in the house. I love that. I have full power out here and it's telling me, look at that. It used to almost none of the battery. It was all on all night with my camera. So that's going in the house. This is, there's so much squash in there. I can't even get in there to get it. We have to make our lives easier. So I'll probably collect some of the seed since it grew so well, but there's still big squash in there. There's the fig leaf gourd in there to eat which is kind of a melony squash. I see more squash back there. And then I just, oh, I picked the butternut. Okay, that's not good. I sat it somewhere. I've got to go find what I see where I sat it. But I picked the butternut yesterday. Now this is fantastic. The tomatillos, oh, that's full. They love the heat. And this is when they take off. So that's the perfect place for that. And then later on, as the squash plants die back and I do get out more squash plants and freeze them, I'm freezing squash, then the tomato plants will take over and the tomatillos will probably die back as the weather cools in the winter. 
And then what's over here? There's my butternut. I sat it there last night. I came out and set up my camera. Look at that little butternut squash. It's tiny and I'm happy. I've never grown a butternut squash. So I did this here. Oh, you know what? Let's look. We'll come back. Let's look over here real quick. This is what is so exciting. This I'm going to put buckets around. I was going to take the tree out. And I thought, you know what? I might leave this tree and try to graft on it. We've got some really good avocado trees that grow fantastic avocados. And I can have full control on this and cover it if it starts to fruit. So I'm going to probably get into grafting when I have time. No, I really do want to get into grafting. So I'll probably graft that. Look what the deer are doing. They're eating the lower leaves and they're lazy. They don't want to reach up. Okay, I've got to fill that feeder. My chair garden. I love my chair garden. We've got two left, two watermelon here. We've got this little one growing. I'm not sure if that one will make it, but I've got to go through as soon as, oh, there's, okay, there is more growing on there. So I've got watermelon growing there, garlic chives. I've got some geraniums and different things on the bottom and celery. And you see it, it's, I haven't done anything different. I've actually been removing some of these squash plants that grew and that's what's growing in the front yard, that cocozelle that came out of here. So I must have composted a while back Cocozell. And when I move them out of there and they have their own container, they just burst into life. There's just too much going on in here and they like the front yard. So I'm gonna move some more. And then let's see, what's here? More squash, I grew a Cocozell looking squash out of there, garlic chives, onions, walking onions. There's beans growing everywhere. I'm letting the beans go to seed because I wanna grow a ton more. And I wanna make sure I have the beans ready to store and plant. So I'm leaving them. I don't even take them until they're brown. And once they're brown, I know that they're ready to plant. They're, they're mature. If you get your seeds, I always say this, take it off too early. The odds are most of them will not grow. And then that's it. This is a yellow squash. And I have been feeding it. I put some compost in there. Well, not compost, kitchen scraps in there. And it looks like it's making a nice comeback. And I have gotten quite a bit of yellow squash off of that. All right, there's a purple bean in here. See how I have to cover it? because if I don't, the deer will eat it. But what's exciting is I'm gonna put up a video on that one back there. And hopefully I'll get, I just put the video, well, I just did the clips and I'll get it together hopefully this week. That's a seedling and that is not, and neither is that. You probably remember what it is. And I immediately got in there that picture. I love my pictures. Now I did the video on the pictures and I showed you the $2 pictures and the ones from the Dollar Tree that are just like a dollar twenty-five. I actually think I like the dollar twenty-five better. It doesn't matter, but they're cheaper, so I like them better because they're cheaper. And on top of that, the lid just lifts so easy. I mean, they all do. I think it's the cheaper part that gets to me. And then let's walk over here. Am I rushing? You betcha I am, because we're going to be like a hundred and ten today. All right, or possibly that hot. My new turmeric table, and this is the one that we're waiting to see that is growing in this wonderful tree's leaves. This is the pepper tree, California pepper tree, as most people call them. And I think they're doing fantastic. Why did I cover this? Because it was here, that's all. I had it out here. Look at this. And maybe I'll cover it back so nothing comes like birds and eat. Look at this. I put a bunch of little pieces in there. They're growing in leaf matter. Isn't this amazing? I make sure I keep it well watered so I can walk by here and keep it damp, which it is, but not soaking wet. They drain well. The leaf matter that I scraped off the chairs and everything drains fantastic. It holds water because it's a leaf and it drains. And that's what you need. This stuff that is just pepper tree dropping leaves and stems, look at that. Just the matter from this beautiful pepper tree that's pulling up, think of all the nutrients. It's like wood chips, but I'm using these fine leaves, is feeding all this turmeric. There is no ginger here. I had so much turmeric, I decided to get it all planted. Look at this, it's all coming up. Did it work? Well, we'll come back in a week or so, do a separate video and tell you if it worked or not. Of course, you already know, because you just watched this. <laughs> but did it work? I'm gonna say yes. Look at that. They're getting very little sun because they're under the trees. So they get a little bit of sunlight in the morning when the sun blazes through here. And then very little in the late afternoon as it's going down that way. Because this would be south facing. 
So it's it's perfect for them. They're really happy. No, just some celery I pulled out. That's actually doesn't even have any soil, but a little bit of water. And then here is this I'm setting up. There's my shoes. I love those shoes, but I guess when the shoes are falling apart, you have to do something with them, right? So guess what I'm gonna do with my shoes? My shoes are going to go in the meadow and they're growing walking onions. So that's walking onions. I'm gonna set up a ton of these, also leaves. This is leaf matter that's just scraped off the ground. So I've been picking up the baby walking onions and putting them in here. There was nothing here before and they are taking off. This is just ginger. I had a few more pieces of ginger left. So I put it in these dish pans that are like four and a half gallons and they are taking off. Again, raked up leaf matter right off the ground. Stuff I picked off the chairs that are here. I'm really, really pleased. And remember ginger and turmeric, they, they love the warmth. Boy, when it's warm, they just burst out of the ground into so much greenery. And the moment it gets really cold, all their beautiful green leaves just die back and all you have is brown leaves. <laughs> you can clear that off and you can compost it. And well, we'll do a whole video on what you can do because it depends on where you live, on what you have to do with it to keep it alive, to regrow it. But remember here, they don't even start growing until July. And that's when we start getting really warm. So I hope you enjoyed this. I am so sorry I had to spin around real quick, but I'm trying to get things done. I've got to get my battery. That is a little generator type thing. It's not a generator, it's a power pack. It works fantastic. I've been so using it for soldering iron and all kinds of stuff. If you're interested, let me know and I'll get a video on it because I'm still testing it out. And I'm crazy about it. And last night I left it out to do wildlife photography to see what came last night. Unfortunately, my camera doesn't always tell me things come and I looked on it and thought, that looks like something and it was an owl sitting. And you can't really see too much except for the big eyes. And it was sitting there and then it flew off and then the skunks and the coyotes. So I'm gonna, it was the first night I set it up here but I don't have to drag extension cords or anything. I, yes, I've used the power bank on the camera but a lot of times the camera will die back it'll pull too much from the power banks and then you, get, you could miss something that could go for days and days and days and will it work on a solar fountain mm, we will see so with that have a wonderful wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow bye bye boy is it warm i love the heat the animals don't you got your own air conditioner she says, I'm not going outside in the heat. She says, I've got my own air conditioner.